Ahoy hoy everyone, it is Craig back at Epcot for another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the help of one of the amazing Dreams Unlimited Travel agents. So, head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free, no obligation quote. Now, what brings me inside the noisiest pavilion with food here at Epcot? I'm talking about the land. Well, it's because a certain dish from Sunshine Seasons <laughs> caught my eye and I am having a day, so I'm probably going to need to say that about like 10 times before I figure out how to actually say Sunshine Seasons. Okay, I got it on the second time. I was a lot better there, but yeah, we, uh, we did a dining review of here about, I want to say a month or so before the pandemic happened, way back in 2020, and I enjoyed my meal, but Rhino and Fiasco uh, weren't as big of, uh, they weren't as big of fans of what they got, and I think a lot of that came down to they just ordered incorrectly, whereas I got something safe. But uh, it's kind of, it's kind of kept me from wanting to come back here uh, anytime soon, but and then I'm looking at menus, trying to figure out what I want to eat. And one item in particular caught my attention. And it's because it's got a clever name. It's called the Land Crusher. I know, the Land Crusher. And what is the Land Crusher? Well, it is pulled pork, cheddar cheese, all sandwiched on Texas toast. And then it is served with a pickle and barbecue sauce all poured over the top. It is $10.99 and it's served with either a bag of chips, the selection today was uh, Lay's Original, Doritos, Cheetos, or you can get a side of pasta salad. And I went with Doritos, so I'm not gonna sit here and review Doritos. I just, I'm not in the mood for a pasta salad. I probably should have tried that, but wasn't in the mood, but I mainly just wanted the Land Crusher sandwich. And now I'm eloquently trying to cut this. It's very difficult. But uh, yeah, it's because of the barbecue sauce being smothered all on top. It makes this really have to be a knife and fork sandwich, unfortunately. At least, well, maybe. If I can't cut through this, I'm gonna have to start picking it up to eat it. But that is a big meaty first bite. The pork is thick and don't see a lot of cheese, but the bread is also thick. So we're, we're talking thick on thick here, the, the thicks. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. All that matters is what it tastes like. So here we go with my first bite. With my first bite, I'm happy to report that it's actually really, really good. Uh, the Texas toast is not overly crisp. It is, you know, it's toasted that perfect amount. It's buttery and there's not too much of it. There is a lot of the pulled pork and that's a good thing. So I wanted more pork than bread and that's exactly what they gave me. Yeah, there's, I have no criticisms. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this sandwich. All smothered in barbecue sauce. I probably shouldn't have done that. My hands are gonna be sticky now, but I've got to take a bite the, the right way too, not just knife and fork, so. Oh my gosh, there's juices just oozing out of this thing. Here goes nothing. This is a symphony of flavors in one little sandwich, and I didn't even try the pickle. It's a dill pickle. It's a dill pickle slice. So, I mean, not, not anything different, but I'll try it. Just, what the heck? That's a good pickle. And I'll tell you what, I took a bite of the sandwich right after I ate the pickle. So I had that vinegar tangy taste that then balanced perfectly with everything else happening with this sandwich. I don't know if I'm just starving or if this is as genuinely good as I believe it is. Maybe a little mixture of both. I don't know, it is, it is good though, but uh, it's loud in here. I've got a lot of sandwich to finish. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna finish my meal here and then I'll wrap up outside where it's a little bit quieter. I am now outside the land pavilion. So let's go ahead and wrap this whole thing up. What did I have? The land crusher, that's what I had. It's 10.99, it's pulled pork, cheddar cheese, Texas toast, barbecue sauce, and a pickle. And I loved it. Like, I really loved it. It was a very filling sandwich. I was worried that it wouldn't be for, you know, not, not for the price, but looking at it portion wise, it didn't look too big, uh, but it ended up being very hefty because of the amount of pulled pork that was on it. This thing was weighed down with pulled pork. 
granted, there was there was a lot of Texas toast still. I mean, it was there was three different layers of it, so it was hefty in that regard too. But the pork just dominated the sandwich. But it also balanced so well with the the cheddar cheese on it, the butteriness from the Texas toast, the 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 sweetness of the barbecue sauce, and then the tanginess of the pickle add on there that smokiness that the pork was delivering as well too it just it, it worked out real well but even more than smokiness just saltiness so we had salty savory it just all always coming together into a really really nice sandwich and i am so glad i had that because yeah it's with sunshine seasons it's like you never know what you're gonna get but in this situation i think i i lucked out and now i have my bag of doritos that i can take with me anywhere i want to go and eat you know i still wish i would have tried the pasta salad the more i think about it but i'm happy I, i'm still happy i'm happy with with what i did get uh and yeah i i don't know if i'll ever get this sandwich again but i do recommend that you try the sandwich and based on it i'd say you know i give the rest of sunshine seasons a, a thought so clearly they're doing something right right now and I, I was concerned because when I saw them pull the, the sandwich out of like a little oven that was kind of like an oven heater unit, it's like, oh man, this thing's not going to be fresh. It's not going to be as good, but boy, was I wrong. Uh, it was, it must have been sitting in that oven, just crisping up the bread a little bit more, letting the flavors of the pork and the cheese combine a little bit more together. And then they waited to top it with the barbecue sauce and pickles until after it came out. So it just, yeah, everything, everything about it was just working and given my highest regards I feel like an absolute piggy standing here saying it but it's okay every now and then i just have to be a little piggy mm. now i'm thinking about regal eagle and now i'm wondering if the pork came from regal eagle i don't know it could have it might have that's a that's a mystery i'll have to solve another day but for now i'm just going to uh gonna just sit with those flavors a little while longer and pretend that I still had more, even though I don't. But that's going to do it for this Disney Dining Review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comment section below. And if you want to support us more, you can always book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no-obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. But that's going to do it for me here today at Epcot. I'll see you again real soon for another Disney Dining Review. Take care. Bye-bye.